Welcome to page three. Today, we're going to be comparing rates, whether we're given an equation, a table, or a graph, and maybe even a story problem. We should be able to calculate a unit rate for each situation we've been given, and then take those rates and compare them. Let's take a look at the train problem. It states, which train travels at the greatest rate of speed? So for each case, we need to find the train speed. But we know in order to calculate a unit rate, we're always going to set up the ratio first, y over x. And if we take a look at the t table in the middle, we know we're going to be comparing miles to hours. So write that down in your notebook or on your worksheet if you were able to print one. Let's take a look at A, Tommy's train. We see that it's a proportional relationship. In fact, all of these are. We know k times x equals y, and 165 is our k rate, or our constant of proportionality. But let's dress it up with units. We know we're comparing miles and hours. So what this equation is really telling us is that Tommy's train travels at 165 miles per one hour. That's our unit rate. Let's take a look at case number two, Tammy's train. We can see we've been given some mixed numbers in the hours column. Well, we certainly know that the fraction one half is equivalent to 0.5. So we can rewrite each of these in decimal form, 2.5 and 3.5. Now let's calculate the rate for each of these by placing y over x. 375 divided by 2.5 and, just to check it, 525 divided by 3.5. Go ahead and take a moment and punch each of these into your calculator. you should have gotten 150 for each of these. But let's dress it up with labels. This really means 150 miles per one hour. Clearly, Tammy's train is a little bit slower than Tommy's. So she comes in at a rate of 150 miles per one hour. And finally, I hope you're recording this on your notebook paper or on the worksheet. Let's take a look at toys trains. Now, we can clearly see it's a proportional relationship as all three of these are. But anytime you get a graph, let's construct a quick t-table. We know that x stands for hours, and you can see that here along the bottom of your graph, and that y, of course, stands for miles. Now, we're going to place y over x in order to calculate the rate. Let's pull a few readable points off the graph. The first one is 1, 120, and then another easy point is 2 hours to travel 240 miles. Let's set up our ratios. We're going to place 120 over 1, 120 miles over 1 hour, and then of course 240 over 2 hours. Well, clearly, this is our unit rate. And when we divide 
In both cases, we get 120. And dressing it up with labels, it's 120 miles per hour. This spot right here on the graph represents our unit rate. So this train is only traveling at a rate of 120 miles per one hour. So even though, even though we've been given the information in three different ways, an equation, a table, and a graph, we can compare the rates. And clearly, Tommy's train is traveling at the greatest rate of speed. So your answer would be Tommy's train. And a written answer might sound something like this. Tommy's train travels at a speed of 165 miles per one hour, which is the greatest rate of speed. Divide the number of miles which we did here, by the number of hours to get the unit rate. Finally, compare the unit rates for each train. Now, let's take a look at the second problem on this page. On this second problem, you'll be comparing three different gas stations. Which station has the cheapest gas? Or in other words, which is the better buy? You've been given an equation for Gus's gas station. You've been given a table of values for Stella's station. And finally, for Frank's fuel, you've been given a graph in which you're going to construct a small T table and then compare y to x. So for each one of these, you're going to calculate the unit rate. Kind of look at the middle. We can see we're going to be comparing dollars to gallons. We're looking for what is the cost per one gallon of gasoline. Pause the video and calculate the unit rate for each one of these given gas stations. Then compare who has the cheapest gas. Show your work in your notebook or on your worksheet. When you're ready, you can compare your work to the answer key that's been provided. But do not look at the answer key until you've done your own work. This concludes this video.